Now the question here is enamel of this tooth is completed by. So first of all, we'll have to uh, identify the tooth and then we have to go ahead with the question. So first of all, here we'll see the buccal view. In the buccal view, we can see that the tooth looks quite symmetrical. Okay, buccally there will be quite symmetry, right? If you see from the lingual aspect, you will be able to appreciate that the lingual cusp is much shorter. Lingual cusp is shorter than your buccal cusp. Okay, so buccal cusp looks quite larger in this case. Okay, at the same time, you should be able to identify here that the occlusal. Now, this is your buccal cusp. This hole is your buccal cusp, and this is the ridge. Okay, if you see. The triangular ridge of the buccal cusp, that is buccal triangular ridge, is very prominent. Okay, and we know that the most prominent buccal triangular ridge or the transverse ridge, okay, is seen in the mandible first premolar. So we get the hint for this. That is your mandibular first premolar. So here you have the buccal triangular ridge and the lingual triangular ridge will be here. Lingual triangular ridge and both will be forming your transverse ridge and most prominent transverse ridge is seen in the mandibular first premolar. That is one important thing to remember. Another very important thing here which we can remember: the cusp, the lingual cusp, is rudimentary or non-functional. Lingual cusp is non-functional as well as rudimentary. So from here itself we can identify that the Tooth is mandibular first premolar. Again, if we try to see the mesial aspect, one more important thing we can see here: there will be grooves which are present both on the mesial as well as distal aspect of the root. But the mesial aspect, the groove is quite deeper. Okay, here also on the distal aspect also we can find the groove, but it is not that much appreciated. But on the mesial aspect, the groove is quite deeper. So all these things will Lead to a conclusion that this is a tooth in which the lingual cusp is rudimentary or shorter, and it has a very large buccal cusp. And this buccal cusp, uh, which is very large and it uh, like uh, it occupies the majority of the occlusal surface of the tooth, so it has a transverse ridge as well. Okay, occlusal surface has a very prominent transverse ridge. So all these findings takes us clue towards the mandibular first premolar. Okay, now we'll have to just find out the ages, the various evidences of the calcification, the chronological ages, and all. So the first evidence of the calcification is seen around one point seven five to two years of age. Then the enamel is completed by five to six years of age. Enamel of the tooth is completed by five to six years of age. Eruption, yes, that takes place around ten to twelve years of age. What what is the eruption age of the upper first premolar? That is eleven to twelve years of age. Then the root is further completed in another two to three years. That is twelve to thirteen years of age. The root will be completed. So if we go back to the question and we try to solve this question, the enamel of this tooth is completed by now. This tooth is nothing uh, but your mandibular first premolar, and the answer to the enamel formation is. Five to six years of age. So according to the chronology, five to six years of age, the enamel formation will occur. Ten to twelve years of age, the eruption of the tooth in the oral cavity will occur, and it will take around twelve to thirteen years. It means two to three years after uh, eruption that the root completion of the tooth will occur. Okay, so these are the various ages. Okay, and the answer will be five to six years. now another short way to just solve this question if you can see here uh, it is very much clear that is it is a premolar tooth no matter which premolar it is okay you just have to know that it is a premolar tooth okay and premolar teeth generally erupt if it is upper it will be erupting from 11 to 12 years okay or if it is lower it will be erupting from 10 to 12 years okay so these are the eruption ages and it is mandatory For the eruption of the tooth, that the crown should be completed. So you can easily rule out these two options, and the crown can be completed. The enamel can be completed by five to six years of age, and that is another way we can find out by ruling out the other option. So the correct answer to this is five to six years.